Well, it's a really good football team we played, and uh, they're hitting on all cylinders today. That's a playoff caliber team, and you know we tried to do our best to come in here and give them a game, but uh, had a couple turnovers early. Uh, our defense couldn't get stops, and uh, we did hang in there to the end. But uh, you know they outplayed us and outmanned us, and uh, you know really beat us in every category. So I give them a lot of credit, and uh, their players and their coaches, and uh, they're a very good football team. What's your message to your team after this? Well, you know what? Uh, I think our guys prepared hard. Um, even though it wasn't a great day, you know, I don't think they didn't didn't play hard. We just uh, didn't make plays, and um, you know they did, and uh, they were really good. And you know, we've got to understand in order uh, to continue to prove, you know, that's the standard right there of, of uh, you know high caliber football, and they showed it today. So. You know, we've got to be man enough to look in the mirror and uh, you know watch the video and figure out a way to get better individually as a unit, as a team, as coaches, and, and try to improve and see if we can you know gradually uh, you know make up the gap. But right now, that was uh, you know it's a really good football team. They, they put it to us. Jeff, when you say that's the standard, like what is because your offense executed well today. Just what is the difference in, in that gap? Is it just talented players? Well, um, that's for you guys to judge. Uh, I mean, I think that uh, everyone knows Ohio State has a ton of talent. Uh, when you look at that offense, you know, the line sensational. The quarterback's really good. Got skilled guys all across the board. Running backs, I mean, they pretty much they want to pass every play they can. They want to run every play they could and, and go down and score. And uh, you know, just a really, really talented team. And defensively, yeah, we 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 made some things happen and we we hung in there, but. Uh, you know, special teams, they won that battle as well. So I just think that's a, a really, really good football team. And I know they have some things they need to shore up as well. But, uh, you know, they easily have a chance to win it all. And on the fumble there in the first half when Plummer was in, what, what happened there? Was why was O'Connell after that play? Well, we had a play in uh, that was going to be a, uh, a reverse throwback to the quarterback. And uh, it didn't get executed well. So, uh, you know. I don't want to pass any blame, just didn't get executed well, and uh, we fumbled it. Jeff, you're kind of known as this offensive guy, so when you see an offense like Ohio State's, what impresses you most about it? When you, when you... Well, first off, uh, you know, they have tremendous talent. That offensive line is, is enormous, and they do a tremendous job. The quarterback's athletic, but he can throw it, and he can move and make throws. Uh, receivers across the board, you know, I, mean, I don't know who you're going to guard. They got, they, they got receivers on the outside, both sides, on the inside. They got really good running backs, um, and I think they're well coached. So, you know, they know how to score points, and, uh, you know, they know, they know how to move the ball. They know how to, you know, get into the best play they can by looking at the defense and adjusting and doing those things. And, you know, in order to beat them, you got to match up to them, and uh, you've got to challenge them, and you got to get up and, and, and guard them and, and try to create some turnovers. And, uh, and the other sides of the ball have to play well, too. So, you know, like I said, I give them a, a ton of credit. To, uh, they definitely came ready to play, and they executed at a high level, and they got it to their playmakers. Uh, you know, it seemed like whenever they wanted. And, uh, you know, we were lucky to hold the 59. Is it, is it a little bit of pick your poison? I mean, they've got so much. You know, they've got Wilson. They've got Olave. How do you go into that knowing what they have? Well, I think uh, you've got to be able to match up with them and, and challenge them and, and make them earn it. And, and uh, when you give them cushion and you let them do their thing, uh, you're, you're not going to win. So, um, you know, the few times we did try to match up, you know, we, we, did, we didn't win that battle. And uh, then you try to figure out how to stop the big play. And, uh, you know, then they just take chunks and chunks and move it up and down the field. So, you know, you've got to, uh, in order to beat them, I, I think uh, you've got to be able to match up to them and, and, and uh, you know, challenge their routes and, uh, you know, get after the quarterback and make them feel uncomfortable. We didn't do that. Uh, you got to create some turnovers. Uh, you got to win the other segments of the game, and uh, we were definitely not good enough to do that. Hey, Jeff, hey, Aiden O'Connell, talk about his day today. He had another, another strong performance, almost 400 yards passing, no interceptions. He continues to be on a roll. Well, he played real efficient football. You know, we did some good things. Uh, you know, to move the ball and create some plays and spread the ball around and, uh, you know, hung in there. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's got down the system right now from what we're doing. And uh, we, we've tried to, you know, get him in a rhythm and uh, get him completions, take a few shots here and there, not get him hit, uh, mix in the run. I mean, I, I think we're improving. Uh, we still have a ways to go, but he's played very efficient football and he's spread around to 
excuse me, all of our receivers, and uh, you know he just really is seeing things well, and, and uh, you know I don't think he got hit much either. So I give a credit to our offensive line uh, uh, throwing that much against these guys, and uh, he did a really good job throwing the ball. What is, what, what's your offensive line doing in a pass protection to to not give up a sack today against one of the, the better defensive lines in the country? Well. You know, we're, we, we've changed some things and uh, a little bit of mixture of the run pass and a little bit of mixture of getting the ball out a little bit quicker, a little bit of mixture of moving the pocket a little bit and not holding it as long and, um, you know, being careful of calling, you know, throws up the field because that's when you can get sacks. So I just think overall we've done a lot of things better uh, and then they've played better um, and they understand what we're doing and the quarterback's got the, the ball out of his hand on time and in rhythm and. Um, you know, all those things go into it, but I, I do think our know, offensive line has worked hard, and, and uh, you know, Coach William and Coach Cal are getting the most out of them, and, uh, you know, they're improving, and they give us everything they have. So, you know, uh, uh, I'm proud of their effort. More questions for Coach? Yeah, one more. Yeah. There's this sort of stereotype or whatever that uh, you have to be able to run the ball in November in the Big Ten, but it doesn't necessarily – seem to be the case. Where do you stand on that whole philosophy and what you saw today? Well, whatever it takes to score points. I think you do have to be able to do both. And, you know, even when you watch Ohio State, I mean, they call a lot of plays from the sideline. If you give them a certain look, they're going to run the ball. But if you give them another look, they're going to throw the ball. And they have the ability to do both. So I think having the ability to do both, but definitely have the ability to pass the ball when you have to, when you're down, uh, when it's a third and long situation. If you can throw the football, you have an advantage over teams that are mostly a running team. So, you know, they definitely work the passing game. They have tremendous weapons and a quarterback and a good system, a really good offensive line. And, um, you know, they'll run it when they need to. So I, I think they have a, a great system and they've executed at a high level today. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, they can go as far as they want to go. All right. Thank you, Coach. 12 players up for